okay so that's all about the package and package lot.json file the third configuration file we are going to see is readme.md file which is a markdown file this file is basically supposed to guide new developers on angular on how to set up the run development environment how to start development deployment and compiling your code so for example here you can see there is the code written for the starting the development server that is ng serve this command will actually start your development server and you can navigate to localhost 4200 to see the output of this particular server the second command you can see here is an example is run running the command ng build this particular command you use on a cli to build your project so in furthermore you can have many of these commands these commands are actually nothing else but the support things for the new uh, angular developers so that they can uh, easily build and start their development on the angular application that's all about readme.md file we will see the next file the next file is angular.json file so basically this file is very important configuration file related to our angular application in this angular.json file we basically defines the structure of the application say for example i'll show you in the code here you can see the key value pairs in a json file json file is basically a key value pair right so here we define the architecture which is the main part in this particular whole uh, file that is architecture here we define what is the path of the main main file in our uh, angular application the path is src slash main.ts file what are the locations of polyfills we require for this angular application so the path is a value that is src slash polyfills.ts file what where are the assets actually located for this application so assets are actually located at two locations that is src slash assets and src slash favicon.ico so as you can see angular.json file is a very important file in the architecture point of view because here we define all the main files uh, index files assets and everything so these all the application files are actually bootstrapping files from where our application starts so this is very important configuration file to define uh, the starting point or the entry point of the angular application so that's all about angular.json file uh, in the next we will be seeing something about tsconfig.json file which is again an important configuration file okay so our next file is tsconfig.json file so if you can remember i've told you that browsers cannot understand or execute the typescript directly what browsers can understand is javascript so if you are coding in typescript it is the node.js or the cli which converts your typescript code to javascript code so that it can run on browsers so this conversion is actually done by something called as typescript compiler so where do you think these compilers gets its configuration so yes you are right the tsconfig.json file is the actual configuration file which is dedicated only to these compilers which converts your TypeScript code to JavaScript code. So basically this file is a guide to the compiler so that it can generate the JavaScript files compatibility. Now in this particular uh, tsconfig.json file you can see an option called as compiler option. So this is these options are given actually to these TSC compilers. Here you can see something called as target this is an important key value pair because this particular uh, key value pair tells that you have to compile your typescript code to es es5 code es2015 is actually es5 code which is actually a javascript code which is understandable by browsers so compiler actually converts your code into the target language that is javascript with this particular key value pair the second important thing you can see in this particular file is a source map key value pair which says that this if it is true it will this particular compiler configuration will generate a dot map file which is the connection between the javascript and typescript code which is important for debugging so as i have promised you i'll tell you how to debug your code so now since we have our application fully fledged developed let's see how i'll tell you how to develop your uh, debug your code so as I've told you localhost 4200 is where our application is running. 
and in this application you can see something as welcome to my project right so let's get back to the code here we have app component.ts file here this is the code you are seeing that is welcome to the title from where this title comes this is basically an interpolation which i will explain in the later videos so for now please bear with me and understand that this title is actually coming from the typescript file from this particular variable title my first project so here you can see welcome to my first project so i want to debug my code that from where this particular title is coming so you can see this particular file is app component.ts file so let's search this in the source uh, sources like so if if you will do f12 you will be able to see this particular developer screen so in sources you can see the top thing navigate to web app web packs in web packs you can see the dot directory in that you can see src and in that yeah that's a very long navigation you have to do but this is how you can debug your code in the angular the angular application in the browsers thing so here you can find app.component.ts file so i have just put a debugger here and now i will refresh my application so you can see my debugger is paused in this particular line number where i've put my debugger or the breakpoint so here the title says my first project i do f8 and i am able to see my first project here right so now don't you realize something this is app.component.ts file and i have said that browsers do not understand app.ts uh, the, the, the typescript file so how am i able to actually debug a typescript file isn't that something very surprising for me it was so actually the fact is when i have made my compiler this configuration file that is source map equals to true this actually creates a dot map file which contains the mapping between the typescript and javascript file which is generated by the compiler so if you can see here when i have debugged my typescript code the that dot map file actually puts a debugger to dot js file and when when the debugger comes to dot js file i can see my code here in dot ts file so this is very important thing you should understand that though you can see that you are debugging your typescript code but that is not true you are not debugging a typescript code but rather you are seeing it as a debugging of typescript but you are actually debugging your javascript code which is generated by this compiler whose configurations are given in this particular file so that's all about the ts config file if you are still unable to understand how this debugging or compilation happens please let me know in the comment section uh, that's all about the configuration file of ts config